Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be telling you all about the A to Z challenge that I am doing in the months from May to August. So from May 1st to August, what, 31st is it? I will be trying to fill in a book for every letter of the alphabet. Um, I see people do this all the time throughout the year, but I wanted to do something different and try and do it all in the summer. So my goal is to try to not have too many books that are starting with like the and a, you know, just those kinds of uh, words. I would like them to just start with like, for instance, beach read. It's just the B. So beach read. No the, nothing. Um, so there are some that are probably just going to have the in front of them, but I really just can't get around some of them and I'll let you know which ones those are, but I did make a list of books that I would like to read for this challenge. Will I get to these ones? Maybe, maybe not. I might switch them out for different books depending on my mood and how and like what I'm reading. I did try to incorporate um, some of my books that I want to read for my five star predictions and the 22 books to read in 2022. So I tried to really incorporate different things that I need to read because then I'm more likely to read them. Um, also, I will try to get my TBR books in here throughout the summer and hopefully, fingers crossed, that I can complete this challenge. Um, it's only 26 books, so it shouldn't be too hard because I read about 10 to 12 books a month. So I'm hoping that I can complete this by the end of August. So let's jump right in to the letters and what I have picked for them. Okay, so for the letter A, I have the anomaly. Um, I know this is one of the ones that has that in front of it. I had another one and the trees crept in, but I'm not sure if I want to even count that one because it's and. Um, so I have the anomaly. Um, I know that this is like a thriller slash maybe horror and it has something to do with caves and something in the cave, I think kind of gives me the Descent vibes and I am just here for it. I hate the thought of being like in a cave with something in there with me or getting trapped in the cave. Like it's just one of my fears and I absolutely hate it. So I think this one's definitely going to give me some chills. Moving on to B, I've already completed this by reading Beach Read. So that one is checked off. For C, I have Confessions by Kane Minato. I plan on reading this in May for uh, Books and Lala's Literally Dead book club. This is the pick, so hopefully I can get to this one. If not, I can find a different book that starts with C and read it instead. Moving on to D, I have Dark and Shallow Lies. I know that this takes place, I believe, in Louisiana in like the swamps, and I don't know if like a girl's friend died and she's trying to figure out what happened and like all this other stuff. Um, this came out last year and I was really interested in reading it during October, but I didn't get to it, so I would be really excited to get to it during the summer. For the letter E, I have Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. Um, sorry, the glare. <laughs> so I picked this up from my library because I wanted to use it as, um, the buzzword, uh, reading challenge for the month of May, and that is Directions, and this one has West, so... Uh, it's pretty short. I think I can fly through it, but that is my pick for E. Next, we have F, which I have already completed by reading Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse. Absolutely loved it. Happy to have this on my list to be checked off. Moving on to G, I have Gods of Jade and Shadow or Gear Breakers. So either of those two will work for this. Um... Gods of Jane Shadow is by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, which I read Mexican Gothic by. So I already know I like her writing and the way she tells stories. So I'm hoping that this is the one I get to because I definitely want to read more by this author. Um, Gear Breakers, I know, I think it's got female-female relationship and it's got like these giant robot giants, rock giants, I don't know, something. But looks cool, the cover looks neat, and I've heard some good things about it. So either of those for G. So I have two for H. I have a regular book and then I have like a graphic novel if I need something light or something quick to finish. So first I have Hydra, which is the second book in the Six Stories series. Um, it's like episodic podcast episodes. So if you like that kind of stuff, I would highly recommend this series. And then if I need something quick to read, or if I'm like way behind and I need to catch up, then I have Hooky. 
and this is just following i think this brother and sister and they miss the bus or something to school and decide to just go hang out and play hooky i guess i've seen a bunch of people getting this recently and it's just got some stunning artwork so i would be very happy to get to that moving on to i for that one i have iron widow by jiren j zhao zhao i'm sorry i butcher that name every time i say it um, I am so excited to get to this. I think I'm just so excited that I'm too afraid to get to this because I'm afraid it won't live up to the hype, but I've heard really good things about it. The cover's stunning, and it would be nice if I could read this in the month of May for the Asian Readathon. On to J, I have Jade Fire Gold, which I would really like to read in the month of May for the Asian Readathon. We'll see. Um, but all I know is that this one is compared to like Katara and Zuko. That's all I needed to know. From the Avatar The Last Airbender, I love that show. And anything that sounds similar to that, it's just, I just need it. I absolutely love it. And I just need to rewatch the show, honestly. But that is what I have for J. For K, I have King of Battle and Blood. And this is a romance, a paranormal romance, um, fantasy romance, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know that the guy is a vampire and I think he's holding the girl hostage. And yeah, <laughs> that's all I really need to know. So that is the pick for K. So for L, I have two that I could go for. I could read Lagoon for that, which is on my TBR for this month. Or I could read Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare because I really need to get to that. And it's also on the 22 books in 2022 that I would really like to get to. So either one of those I would be happy with. M, okay, so for M, this is one another one that I have the in front of. So I have the Mary Shelley Club. Um, I really wanted to get to this when it came out and I didn't. Uh, I know it's something to do with this club and murder. I don't know. Anyway, it sounds really good. And if I don't get to that, then I would really like to get to a master of gin. So there is an A, but I love anything that has the gin in it. It's so good. And I've heard really good things about this uh, book. I don't know if it's going to be a series or not. I know that there's some novellas for it, but I would really like to get to that one also. So either way, I would be happy with. Moving on to the letter N. For that, I have another book that is on my May TBR, and that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I really have been wanting to read this for years. I've had it for so long. It's probably one of the oldest books on my shelves that I've owned, and this one has some like mixed media, if I can find any. So it has some mixed media elements in it. I've heard good and bad things about it. Um, I think it's right up my alley. I think it was something that I would, you know, really enjoy. So I'm hoping that I actually pick this book up and read it. I just need to pick it up and start it and hopefully I'll get engrossed in it. But that is my pick for N. So for L, I gave myself another break and gave myself a small one and that is Odd Spirits. I think it's about uh, this couple and they're having problems and I think they move into this haunted house but they are also like witch or wizard or whatever and they're dealing with like a haunting and it sounds funny and it sounds good and short and I love the cover so going with that for O. Okay so for P I am not sure I'm gonna get to this book. I might try and search for another book that could fit this. Oh, I never mind. I just found another one. Okay. So I was originally going to go with Paternus, which is a uh, first book in a series. Um, it's adult fantasy, I believe. And it's been like compared to, I think, Supernatural, Lord of the Rings, Avengers, and American Gods, I think. So <laughs> that just has a lot uh, going for it. But I don't know if I'm going to be in the mood to start another series, but I just saw this one and remembered. Um, I would also like to reread the program series by Suzanne Young because I need to read the last two books in this series. And this is one of my all time favorite series and I just need to reread it. And maybe summer would be a great time to do that. So maybe I'll read this one. So on to Q, I have another one that has the in front of it. So I have the Queen's Poisoner. I think it's by Jeff. Vandermeer? I could be wrong. I can't remember the last name, but the picture will be here. Um, I don't really know what this is about. I've heard good things about it, and I have the audiobook for it, 
Uh, so that's a potential. Um, there are other things like if I got to Lady Midnight and read Lord of Shadows, then I could potentially get to Queen of Air and Darkness, which would uh, take away the, and it would just be the Q. So I could do that also. Um, we'll see. This one's up in the air right now. Moving on to R, I have Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. I've been really excited to get to this, and I was supposed to read it for my last five-star predictions, but I moved it to the current one because I wanted to read this one closer to when the second book came out. So this is a contender. But I'm thinking that the book that's going to fill out the letter R is going to end up being Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I have not read this book yet. I'm rectifying that. Um, I have this out from the library and I also have the audiobook on my overdrive so I'm actually planning to pick this up next probably after I'm done filming this video so this will probably most likely be the one that fills in for R but I just wanted to give myself some options just in case. I've heard a lot of people summarize this very well and I'm just like lost for words. All I know is like something with people that don't have shadows and they're being hunted by gods or something something like that um but i don't think i've heard anyone read this book and like talk about it or anything so i'd really like to get to this one um the cover looks interesting and yeah i would just like to get to this one so moving on to s for this one i have a book i'm not sure if it's self-published or indie published but that is shadowless moving on to t you will have seen this book on a couple of tbrs i think but I really, really, really want to get to Temple of No God by H.M. Long. I read Hall of Smoke in January, and I really enjoyed it. And I just want to get to this one before I forget, like, what happened. Although you can read this without reading the first one. But this takes place ten years after the first book, um, and you're following, I believe, Hesse again. So I just want to get to this. The covers are stunning and beautiful. And, yeah, I just need to get to this. It's not very long, and I have the audiobook for it, so hopefully soon. Moving on to you, I have Under the Whispering Door for this one. I really enjoyed House in the Cerulean Sea in January, and I really want to get to this one. This one I've heard mixed things about, so I'm a little hesitant about this one, but I am waiting uh, for the audiobook from my library, so when that comes out, I will read it. Moving on to the letter V for that, I am going with Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I've wanted to read this for a while now. I've heard really good things about it. Um, some of you guys have even told me how much you love this book and the other book in it, and I just want to get to it already. It sounds so good. I have the audiobook. I just need to get to it this summer. It's definitely a priority for me. I like that you can, like, see how this uh, little shelf on my TBR cart is dwindling as I pull the books off of it. Moving on to W, I have Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I saw the trailer for the movie for this and I absolutely loved it. It looked so good and now I just want to read the book and uh, watch the movie. So I have this out from the library. It should get read this month because I also have the audiobook for it. So this one will fill in the letter W. Moving on to X, I wasn't sure if I would find anything but I surprisingly remembered a romance book called Zenny. I think this is like a marriage of convenience or inconvenience and that's all I know. Uh, I think it's like this girl's aunt or some someone sets her and this other guy up and yeah so something like that I don't know but I have heard really good things about it. Um, I think Riley from Riley Marie has read this and that gave it some good praise so I am happy to get to this one. Moving on to why this is another one that has the in front of it, and that is The Young Elise by Marie Lu. I have the entire series. Um, I've had this for a while. This was gifted to me by my mother. Hi, mom. Sorry, I haven't read this yet. Story of my life. <laughs> All I know is this has an anti-hero in it, and it's young adult, so shouldn't be too hard to get through. I hear so many good things about Marie Lu's writing and stories, so I'm really excited to get to this. And moving on to the last letter, it is Z, and for this one, I thought for sure I wasn't going to find anything for that, but I did. I found Zodiac Academy, which is, like, booming on TikTok right now, so uh, I know that the first book is, like, Zodiac Academy, The Awakening, I believe, but we're just going to go with Zodiac Academy. You can't, you can't convince me to change it. I'm going with it. It's my rules. We're going with it. That is Z. It's close enough for me, so... 
those were all the books that I have for all 26 letters of the alphabet because I feel like torturing myself this summer apparently but I think I'm gonna have lots of fun trying to get to all these books and hopefully I can um wish me luck I will update you guys when I have finished and let you know what I have read for all of the letters but that was everything um let me know if you guys are participating in the A to Z challenge this year down in the comments. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. And until my next video, I will see you guys soon. Bye!